follow-up video on the video I did concerning hex plug removal on these rear ends and the problems you can run into when you try to use a wrench like this. Well, I happened to find this old plug in the shop today, and this was one that indeed had been rounded out, and I had a very difficult time removing this. So I want to show you some of the symptoms here, maybe some of the reasons why this was rounded out previously, and then I'm going to explain in this video how I was able to get it out. Well, look right in here. You can see that probably the wrench was only inserted part way into the hex. So the first mistake this person made who tried to remove this plug was he did not clean out the base of the plug. And I say that over and over again. Look at that. Look at the crud that has built up down in there. And you need to get that all out of there with a pick tool and make sure that the hex wrench is seated all the way down on the bottom. Now this one isn't seating because it's damaged down there. And you even want to take a hammer and hammer on this to make sure it drives all the way down in there. Well, what happened using this lever here like this, not being able to get it all the way in, you know, prying out to the side like this, it rounded out. Sure enough, you can see the damage to the plug right there. And this owner was stuck. I can see that he probably tried to remove it with vice grips. And I got a hold of some vice grips and I tried to get on that. And, and that didn't work. So let me show you now how I was able to get this plug out. Of course, when you run into a plug like this, just plan on replacing it. So you don't care if you damage it getting it out. Now that I think about it, this is a trick I probably learned over 50 years ago back in aircraft mechanics school. But this can work on screws particularly a lot of sheet metal screws and aircraft that get corroded sometimes when the Phillips head gets stripped out. You have to resort to this technique. It works on these type of plugs. It can work on large nuts that also got accidentally rounded out. But the trick here is to get a chisel. Now you can see I've got a couple different chisels. This one here is my favorite chisel for removing these type of plugs and large screws that just won't budge with a wrench. And you have to make sure it's very sharp. And if anything, you need to sharpen it at an angle. And you need to use the chisel to come in right on the edge and hammer. Hammer it so it rotates in a counterclockwise rotation. You keep hammering, hammering, and you get it to take a bite. And that's what I did on this one. I was able to use this chisel and drive this in, keep driving it in, keep rotating it up like this until I got right at that position. Then I was able to give the chisel a big whack and loosen this plug. Now it takes a little bit of a technique. You can't just get on the edge. You have to start on the edge and then rotate it in. And as you can see here, I've driven down deeper and deeper into the metal of the plug so that I got a really good bite. So I was really then able to really hammer on that chisel to break it loose. So keep that in mind. I have about six chisels in my toolbox that are sharpened at this really sharp angle and they're different sizes for getting various screws, plugs, and bolts out in real stubborn situations. And as I explained in that other video on these hex plugs, that's the reason I developed this special 14 millimeter wrench to remove the plugs on Mercedes rear ends both for filling and draining, and also the plug on a lot of manual transmissions. The problem, once again, with this one has a long head on it, so when you torque on it, it tends to want to twist out. So what I've done is I've cut this off, also put a rubber handle on it, because sometimes you really have to torque on these. So now you can see when you get that into the hex plug, and once again, I may hammer it in there, then I'm torquing closer to the center of rotation here which will prevent this from rolling out under real heavy torque. So in review, the keys are here to make sure on any hex bolts. It can be plugs, it can be bolts, it can be screws. You want to clean the area out with a pick tool first, get all the crud out of there, and then when you do insert the hex tool, if it doesn't feel like it's going all the way down to the bottom, you want to get a hammer and tap it in before you apply any torque. 